The National Treasure Design Competition takes us to Illinois and Glen Ellen Golf Club. It is made by Jay Colick. Link down in the description to Jay Colick's Twitter and also the TGC Tours forum post if you want to go check that out as well. For Glen Ellen, though, we have a par 70. It is 7,053 yards like every single other one of these courses. It has four and a half stars. So I'm guessing it is going to be, again, absolutely wonderful. For those of you playing along at home, though, the default conditions that we are going to be playing with are firm, firm, fast, afternoon, and clear for the weather. We're playing from the back tees, the tips, which are black, pins are four, and yeah, let's head out and see what Illinois has in store for us. Glen Ellen Golf Club here for the National Treasure Contest. Here's our view from the first tee box. Nice little open concept. Oh yeah. This looks like, <laughs> what's funny is like, this looks like uh, courses in Indiana right here. I guess one stayed over, so just an <laughs> open concept. This is a big plot though. These are some big fairways too. Yes. I, uh, I love, I just love these types of greens because they're just different. They're so different from what you normally get very just like symmetrical like here's a square kind of thing i i really do uh like these i'm interested to see what the contour looks like this looks good though interesting interesting bunkering especially like something like this hole right here this is probably a par five here you might guess oh we don't have to worry about trees i guess that's good but of course we have to worry about water We'll probably end up hitting into that. <laughs> Looks fun. Let's see how the golf plays. Starting off with a 463 yard par four. These bunkers are going to come into play, especially if we don't hit this good. It's going to be slightly downhill. I know we're even with the green, but. All right, we're starting off with a red fast. We should be short of that bunker because of it. And it'll actually work out nicely. It'll work out very nice. We got pitching wedge coming in. It's up 16. Definitely have to watch out for the front of this green. Do not slow this. That would be very bad. Good. It's a little long, I'm okay. A pin high. That's not bad. Nine foot for birdie. We can start this off with a birdie. That'd be great. So that would be uh, better than what we've normally done, especially in these past few videos. Yeah, we're going to continue that streak of uh, sucking. Oh no! We suck again! At least I got the power good that time. That's something I've also uh, struggled with as well. But again, new controller, you know. It's just gonna take some time. But, I mean, once I get used to this controller, I can just continue to get Power A controllers, you know? So that's like the good thing about it. <sighs> Slowed it into the wind. That yeah, pushed it a little bit too. I'll take going in this bunker, though. It's not the worst thing that could happen. Nice. I'll take that. Play that. Play that very fast. <laughs> play that very fast partial. I mean, I can't get splash shots. There is zero chance that I'm going to get the uh, the tempo for that. We will definitely take that up and down. All right, let's shoot this right over the gap. Eight mile an hour wind. We should be able to get over it. Well, if we get a perfect. Slowed it. This should still be okay. 
Yeah, this will work. This will definitely work. Nice little 301 drive, poking it out there. 107 out. Got the wind in our face, too. Bob Wedge ain't gonna do it. Oh, does the wind beat this down, though, enough? Probably. 11 mile an hour. Here we go. Let's get this perfect tempo. Hey! Yeah, that's what we like to see right there. Oh, it's gonna finish right still. And the wind ate it up. Shit. That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Doesn't matter, though. Just a little bit of a chip in. Yeah? Just a touch. Just a touch of a chip in. I'll take, dude, I'll take birdies any way I can get them. <laughs> any way I can freaking get them, I'm gonna take it. Hey, it was a par five. All right. See, I, I, I like these, these bunkers just because if the wind's at my back, these come into play. Right now they don't, but... I really like when courses are laid out that way. Depending on conditions, certain things will play differently. Eh, we can't get there. So we're big layer uppers. Nice. That actually worked beautifully. What do you want me to take in? Uh, this is a, ooh, look at this pin. You gotta be very precise with this one. I want me to take a sand wedge, but I mean, I, it's, it, I mean, that's definitely not gonna be enough. This is definitely too much. Maybe not though, that nine mile an hour wind, I mean, that, that ate up the sand wedge in the last hole. So maybe it would be okay. Eh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. See you later, ball. It's nice knowing you. And it's gone. Shit. All right. Up and down instead, I guess. Oh, red slow it. God dang it. Making this putt a lot hotter than it needs to be. See if I can at least get the power. If I get that figured out. Oh, we're good now. That was a very, very, very straight accuracy line, too. I don't know what it is. I suck with a PlayStation controller. It's just plain and simple. I am just, I am an Xbox controller guy for life. They've got me hooked, and there's nothing I can do about it. Well, I mean, I guess I could just use the PlayStation controller for longer than a day, but... Xbox controller just works for me. Just works for me. Bigger hands. I mean, I don't know if it's more comfortable in my hands. I don't know what it is. I have no idea. All right, 114 to the pin. 10 feet down. They had me pitching it. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. I really hope they get that changed uh, whenever the next game comes out. I'd, I'd rather I'd rather default to a full club every single time because that's what you normally do. You look for your full shot, and then you move back from that to if you need to pitch it or splash it flop it you know whatever half shot you know whatever whatever you're needing to do at least that's how i progress out on the course uh, i would rather it default to a full shot every single time though oh great fast into that wind we're probably gonna be off the green yep god dang it dude well we've been here before Let's see if we can get another uh, little cheeky chip in. Oh, we run fast at it. That's yeah, gonna die out. Damn. Well, we should be able to at least get up and down for par. Which we do. So I guess, yay. I guess. <laughs> I mean, I'd rather just hit a perfect shot, but this is what it is. All right, hole number six, one under, 292 to the pin, which means 
we can drive this. So, let's try to do that. Give me a perfect, please. How great would that have been with a perfect? Oh, that would have been good. Distance was looking right. Damn, that sucks. Check up, uphill putt. All right, we'll have a chance at a birdie here. A very good chance at a birdie. If I miss this, there's something wrong with me. I actually got a little scared halfway through because usually when I say shit like that, something goes wrong, but not this time. We get a birdie, two under. Going into the par three seventh here. Oh, good. The water's really not in play. And even I don't think I can put this in play. That's good. <laughs> God, I'd really just like a perfect coming into the green. I mean, I'm not asking for much here. Long. What? Did I not loft that up? The wind wasn't at my back at all. Man, I thought I took about five off that. Huh, that's interesting. Okay, well. I mean, obviously I didn't. Or the wind, I guess, might have shifted a little bit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, please stop. Oh, of course it's... Is it? Is it straight in, though? Uh, man, I don't know. One eternity later. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna play it off. I'm just gonna play it off a little bit left. Just do inside cup left. I mean, it did break a little bit. We probably still would have made it either way, but still. This is seriously, like, this course right here, besides maybe the greens, you know, but this course right here is, this is uh, the Midwest course courses I play. Like, you're looking at them right now. Some have a little bit more trees in between holes and are, and are a lot more, like, compact, not as spread out as this one is, but this course has definitely, like, captured the, uh, the, this is what a Midwest course is like. You know, the aesthetic might be just a little bit different, but yeah, fields of weeds, <laughs> you know, like fields of weeds, some fairly big open concept courses in the middle of, you know, yeah, houses and city drop and all that stuff too. Like this is definitely, uh, this is like the courses I play. Hacking it around the course like I am right now. This is all very true to life. Can't wait to hit this long. Please, please, please sit. Please sit. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was almost very bad. Three up. So we need five. All right. Stay up. I pushed it a little bit. Now we drop one. I mean, that's what's going to happen if you don't hit good tempoed shots coming in. You are going to get that. And I got punished for it. Wow. Wow. That got very left. That looked like it came off left from the tee box, but I don't think I pulled that. Hmm. 
I mean, I guess. That line looked pretty uh, straight to me, but maybe it was yanked a little bit somewhere in there. One under at the uh, turn isn't exactly how I was hoping uh, this to go this round. Starting the 10 off of the par 4. This bunker shouldn't be in play. I'm going to fade it just in case. Uh, with the slow, this should be all right still. This gets over, right? Okay. Worried me for a second. Into the wind, uphill, should be good. This is gonna come off right. How much? Don't know. The lie looks pretty bad. Well, now it's gonna come off very right. At least for putting. It's not gonna be a pretty putt, but. Ugh. <laughs> not pretty at all. Alright. We'll count this one out. This is uphill all the way. Hard. Yep, I hit it a little too hard. I, I mean, I, that probably doesn't come back anyways, but... I still want to get the, the power that I'm shooting for. It's just something I've struggled with ever since moving from the Elite controller. Little dog leg here. I, I really... Uh, th this course has done a really good job at putting sand traps and rough around... It's like the placement of everything around the greens has been very good. It's not a complete cutoff, like it's not a split fairway or anything, but it kind of gives, it gives that feel without actually doing it. And I, uh, I actually thoroughly enjoy that. Hey, there we go. Nice. Nice. I feel like we've been shooting into the wind every shot. <laughs> I know we haven't, but uh, kind of what that's, that's kind of what it feels like. This is a very tough pin with fast greens. God, dang it! <laughs> dude, dude, I've just I've been slowing. I've been slowing so many approach shots. <laughs> it makes me so sad. God dang it. <sighs> Just push the stick down harder, 17 head. All right, we're still one under. We're still one under going into 12. Get another part three. Maybe, just maybe, we actually get this one towards the flag. Doesn't that sound like fun? I think that sounds like fun. Pain! So much pain! So much pain! I about screamed. That was close. Oh, about screamed. Starting to build up. I can feel it. <laughs> Just gonna let out a, a very prim primitive scream here soon. You know what? Maybe I'm just putting myself into position to make big putts. That's all I'm doing. We're just gonna look at it that way, you know? Just subconsciously putting myself into a position for content. Uh-oh. Maybe not. See? I mean, that's all I was doing. I'm just putting, my pos putting myself in position to overpower a shot and make some putts. It's, it's that simple. You know, we're just doing it for the content. It's all for the content, right? You know, and then you just you, you you just go on to the next hole like 
like you didn't just make an absolutely huge putt, you know? You go straight to your drive, then you perfect this while doing a slight fade. You get this right up into the fairway. You can get it up there and go for an eagle. Maybe even hit an albatross. You know what I'm saying? Stay out of the rough. Stay out of the rough. You son of a bitch. We still might be okay here, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Five iron. 91 to 96. If this comes off at 91, trouble. If this comes off at 92, trouble. <sighs> that actually won't matter because I can't hit a perfect. <laughs> God dang it. Oh my god, every single I'm in my head now. Every single approach shot has been that. I I am I am in I am in my head right now. For sure. I actually slowed a partial splash shot. Wow. Okay, well, that's interesting. Unless I hit that 100% and just didn't notice, which is also a possibility. Hey, an up and down birdie? I'll take that. Can we get three birdies in a row? I don't even know. Those don't happen too often with me anymore. This is a tough pin. Look at that thing tucked away on the right. We got to try to get this actually left as much as we can. I know we'll be working, you know, and instead we're gonna slow it. I mean, I guess the wind is still in our favor to get this to, to drop down a little bit better for us, but getting this left would have been nice just so we had a little bit more green to work with. Oh man, this wind's gonna be nasty. Oh, this is right at it. Oh, roll. Not bad. I definitely landed a lot shorter than I wanted it to, but it worked out in the end. I mean, I knew the wind was going to beat it down, but I beat it down quite a bit. Hey, and at least now we have a chance at a birdie. Three in a row. sadness do you know what's funny every time i play this game and i see my golfer do the the whole like it's like a it's like a squat you like kind of like you kind of like sit back a little bit you know what i'm saying i do that every single time i just barely miss a putt i feel like that is like the universal like fuck in golfers because I see so many people do it, too. It's like one of those, like, you, you're you kind of, you know, you're kind of like, uh, you're crouched over, you putt it, you're watching it, you're watching it, you're watching it, and then you're like, Fuck. you kind of, like, sit back in your stance a little bit. I do the exact same thing. All right, we're on to the 15th. We can't drive it. <laughs> I wanted to look at it just in case. But, yeah, there's no fucking way. All right. Oh, look at that, a slow. Never done that before. That's crazy. That's crazy, dude. Hmm. Nine mile an hour. Oh, now we fasted. Of course we do. And because of that, that's where we're at. <sighs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. 
<laughs> you know? That's a good up and down though right there. That's a good up and down right there, dude. Here we go. That's not, that is not an easy splash too because you can only bring the power back so far. You just kind of have to guess at any point past that. So that's not a, like I had to go under what the controller was telling me. That's not the easiest of uh, splash shots there. Cause it is, it is seriously just guessing. All right, wind should get it past this bunker. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. See, like this, this is a time to give me, yes, a pitch shot, because that's just not realistic for a, a full shot. So, yeah, I like that this is where you give me the pitch shot. See, this is good. This makes sense. Nice. Oh, just set down right next to the hole. Oh, yes. Yes. Beautiful. Oh, absolutely beautiful. We get it to a four under. Hey, if we can birdie, birdie, five, six under for the round, that wouldn't be half bad. Or, hear me out, we just get a hole in one here. You know? Or we just, you know, flat out, just, just get a hole in one right here. You know, we just do that too. Too long. Too long. Right idea, I mean, it would have, look at all the, look at it drifting over to the left. Right idea, I just, it's too long. I de-lofted it thinking that the wind wasn't going to take it enough, but. Oh, it's the right idea. Bad execution. Just didn't stay up. All right, it's still possible, though. To get to a six under, we just got to hit an eagle. And going out on a par five... I think having the 18th hole as a par five automatically gets a one star in my review scale. <laughs> it's, I think it's an automatic one star. Your course could be... It could be just bad, you know? All the way up to 18. And if you end it on a par 5, I give you a 1 star. It's just an automatic. I love going out on a par 5. Love it. I love the drama about it. Especially when it's reachable. It doesn't have to be every round, you know? It could be based on conditions, but if it's reachable, one of those rounds... Unparalleled. It's the best thing. You know what? Do I pull out the big dog for this and take driver off deck? I mean, this three wood, it might roll. I just don't know if it makes it up that ridge. 79 to 82? I don't even know if that makes it up there. We're gonna try. I need, I mean, we need a perfect. I mean, that's for sure. Don't roll too far. You could stop right there. Just stop right there anytime now. Yes. Okay. Now we're cooking. Look at this. This is, this is this shot is even that bad. I mean, we're going to miss it probably, but it still ain't bad. Six under round. You know you want to. Oh, good thing I uh, hit it too hard. Going on to birdie, though. I mean, could have been worse. Five under par. 
That's not too bad. That was Glenn Ellen. I hope, hopefully it's Ellen. I guess it could be a Lynn. Glenn Ellen. Golf club? Whatever it is. Glenn Ellen, Glenn Ellen, golf club. Made by Jake Colick. Fairway and regulation was pretty good. I mean, that was expected. Those fairways were pretty big. They were pretty big. Green and regulation, I mean, that's all tempo. We could have definitely... The greens were positioned in a way that you could hit, you know, 75, 80% of these greens fairly easily. Now, when you got there, that, that was, you know, those greens were not easy. They were definitely uh, on the more difficult side, which is completely fine. They played extremely well. But tempo kind of killed me a little bit. But this course is really good. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I mean, all these courses for the National Treasure Competition has been absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, I mean, there's not much to say. It's very good. I think it really captured the Midwest very well, too, which is kind of what you want to do when you're designing a course for a specific state. So hats off to Jay Kalik. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed this one, and hopefully you will as well. <laughs>